The M60 Patton is a main battle tank, MBT, introduced in December 1960. With the United States Army's deactivation of their last, M103, heavy tank battalion in 1963, the M60 became the Army's primary tank during the Cold War. Although developed from the M48 Patton, the M60 series was never officially classified as a Patton tank, but as a product improved descendant of the Patton series. In March 1959, the tank was officially standardized as the 105mm gun full tracked combat tank M60. The M60 underwent many updates over its service life. The interior layout, based on the design of the M48, provided ample room for updates and improvements, extending the vehicle's service life for over four decades. It was widely used by the U.S. and its Cold War allies, especially those in NATO, and remains in service throughout the world today, despite having been superseded by the M1 Abrams in the U.S. military. Egypt is currently the largest operator with 1,716 upgraded M60A3S, Turkey is second with 866 upgraded units in service, and Israel is third with over 700 units of Israeli variants. Development Impetus During the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, a Soviet T-54A medium tank was driven onto the grounds of the British Embassy in Budapest by the Hungarians. After a brief examination of this tank's armor and 100mm gun, British officials decided that their 20-pounder was apparently incapable of defeating it. There were also rumors of an even larger 115mm gun in the works. Hence there was a need to adopt a 105mm gun, which emerged as the famed Royal Ordnance L7. This information made its way to the United States, where the Army had been experimenting with a series of upgrades to their M48 Patton tanks. These experiments were concerned with improving the armor and the introduction of a variety of auto-loader systems, such as that used in the 105mm gun tank T54, and upgraded range finders. The T95 program, launched after the question mark 3 conference in June 1954, was the intended replacement to the M48. It featured a host of innovative and experimental components such as its 90mm smoothbore T208 cannon rigidly affixed to its turret, and its new powertrain and suspension. The burden of developing them however slowed the overall program to a crawl. General Taylor approved of a new tank development program in August 1957. This incorporated many Arcove recommendations and foresaw the eventual replacement of the light, medium and heavy tanks with two types, the Airborne Reconnaissance Slash Assault Vehicle, and the main battle tank, MBT. The MBT was to combine the firepower and protection sufficient for the assault role with the mobility to perform as a medium tank. A tank of the T95 series, armed with a smooth bore cannon and powered by a compression ignition engine, was envisaged by the Army staff as the bearer of the role of future MBT. The course of this tank program was the source of widespread debate. The Bureau of Budget, Bob, believed that the Army was not progressing with sufficient speed in its tank modernization program and recommended the immediate replacement of the M48A2. Correctly predicting that the Bob would not approve the procurement of the M48A2 after the fiscal year of 1959, the Deputy Chief of Staff, Logistics, Dxlog, proposed a tank based on the M48A2 featuring improved firepower and the AVDS-1790 engine. The alternative was to introduce a tank from the T95 series, but it remained highly experimental with its compression ignition engine not as developed as the AVDS-1790. An influential group of senior officers, by May 1958, concluded that the T95 had only marginal advantages over the M48A2. They proposed that the most important improvements, better firepower and fuel economy, could be achieved by mounting a compression ignition engine and a more powerful gun on the M48A2. Choice of Components The main gun was chosen after a comparative firing test on the Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Participating in the test were six guns, the 90mm M41, armament of the M48A2 although tested with the new T300E53 heat round, the 90mm T2089, a smoothbore weapon firing T320E62 apsts, 
the 105mm X15 V8, a British gun developed from the 20 PDR, the 105mm T254, an American gun firing the same APDS ammunition as that of the British, the 120mm T1236, a lightened variant of the M58, and the 120mm M58, armament of the M103. The 120mm T1236 was preferred by the Ordnance Department because its ammunition, the same as that for the M58 gun, was already at an advanced state of development. The T1236 however had a slow rate of fire as, unlike the M58 on the M103, there would be only be one loader servicing it. This led to the weapon having a max rate of fire of 4 RPM versus the T254S 7 RPM. The factors evaluated were accuracy, lethality of a hit, rate of fire and penetration performance. Based on these tests, the 105mm T254E2 was selected and standardized as the M68. Until American-made tubes could be obtained with comparable accuracy, British tubes were to be used. Composite armor made with fused silica glass was intended on the turret and the hull. This composite armor provides protection against heat, HEP, and he rounds. However, repaired castings suffered a loss of kinetic energy protection. This led to the front of the hull taking the shape of a flat wedge, instead of the M48S elliptical front, as it simplified the installation of this armor. Limitations in manufacturing capacity and the added cost however led to this special armor being dropped and all M60 series tanks were protected with conventional steel armor. Initial Versions In 1957, plans were laid in the US for a universal or all-purpose tank. Fulfilling this requirement with an interim tank resulted in the M60 series, which largely resembles the M48 it was based on, but has significant differences. The M60 mounted a 105mm M68 main gun with the bore evacuator mounted towards the middle of the tube, compared with the M48S 90mm M41, which mounted the bore evacuator towards the end of the tube right after its T-shaped muzzle brake. It also had a hull with a straight front slope whereas the M48S hull was rounded, had three support rollers per side to the M48S 5 and had road wheels constructed from aluminum rather than steel, although the M48 wheels were often used as spare parts. The improved design incorporated a Continental V12 750 HP, 560 kW, air-cooled, AVDS 1790-2 diesel engine, extending operational range to over 300 miles, 480 km, while reducing both refueling and servicing. Power was transmitted through a CD850-6 cross-drive transmission, a combined transmission, differential, steering, and braking unit. The hull of the M60, like its predecessor the M48, could be cast as a single piece or by welding smaller castings. The turret was similar to the M48A2S and was made as a single piece casting although it was modified to accept the new larger diameter cupola and the M116 mount for the 105mm gun. The hull was divided into three compartments, with the driver in front, fighting compartment in the middle and engine at the rear. The driver looked through three M27 day periscopes, one of which could be replaced by an M24 infrared night vision periscope. The M60 was the last U.S. main battle tank to utilize homogeneous steel armor for protection. It was also the last to feature an escape hatch under the hull. The escape hatch was provided for the driver, whose topside hatch could easily be blocked by the main gun. Access between the driver's compartment and the turret fighting compartment was also restricted, requiring that the turret be traversed to the rear. Originally designated the XM60, the new vehicle was put into production in 1959, standardized as the 105mm gun full-tracked combat tank M60 on March 16, 1959, and entered service in 1960. There was a proposal in April 1959 to change the nomenclature to 105mm gun main battle tank M60, this was however rejected due to a conflict with the federal cataloging agency policy. Over 15,000 M60s, all variants, were built. 
M60A1 series. Approved in March 21, 1960 was the initial program that led to the M60A1. This new variant was first produced in October 1962 and stayed in production until 1980, featured a larger, better shaped turret and improvements to the armor protection and shock absorbers. While the M60 continued to use the turret based on the M48A2S, T95E7 style turrets were not abandoned. Work continued on an elongated turret based on its design. The turret, even without the silicious cord armor, provided improved ballistic protection. Additional space for the turret crew was also made available by mounting the Cannon 5 forward. In addition to the added protection offered by this turret on production M60A1S, the upper glassy armor was increased from 3.67 inches to 4.29 inches at 65 degrees while the sides over the crew compartment went from 1.9 inches to 2.9 inches at their apex. This brought the frontal armor up to the same 10 line of sight armor standard of the M103 heavy tank. Shock absorbers were installed in the first two and last road wheel arms. The uncomfortable wire mesh seats were replaced by padded seats. The brake and accelerator pedal were rearranged for more efficient and comfortable operation while the steering wheel was replaced by a T-bar steering control. The engine and powertrain were upgraded by the addition of the Continental AVDS 1790-2A and the CD850-6A. The new engine lowered fuel consumption and smoke emissions. Combination day IR periscopes were introduced the M32 for the gunner and the M36 for the commander although the commander's periscope could be substituted with the M34 for binocular vision without IR. As development of a new main battle tank stalled with problems and cost escalating quickly, the M60A1 was forced to serve longer than originally intended with production lasting over 20 years. In that time span numerous product improvement programs were put forward. The first of which was TLAC for top-loading air cleaner. This reduced dirt and dust ingestion, which increased engine life. Its top-loading configuration also made it easier to service. Next came the OWS meaning add-on stabilization that was introduced in late 1972. As its name implies, this was an add-on stabilizer kit made to fit with minimum modifications to the existing hydraulic gun control system. It was made up of several components, the rate sensor package, a control selector box, the electronics package, a shut-off valve, the traverse servo valve assembly, the elevation servo valve assembly, the handle shaping assembly, an hydraulic filter, and an anti-backlash cylinder. At short to medium ranges, hit probabilities better than 50% from a moving M60A1 were obtained in Aberdeen test results while without a stabilizer it was essentially zero. M60A1, OWS, was the designation received by M60S equipped with the TLAC, OWS and the new T142 steel track, which had replaceable rubber pads and improved service life. In 1975, the M60A1, RISE, meaning Reliability Improved Selected Equipment was introduced. Its AVDS 1790-2C diesel engine featured several changes in order to improve service life and reliability new top-loading air cleaners, stronger cylinders, improved starter, fuel injection lines and nozzles and better turbo superchargers. A new 650 ampere oil-cooled alternator, a solid-state regulator and new wiring harness with more accessible disconnect were also incorporated into its electrical system. The M60A1, RISE, Passive, which debuted in 1977, featured passive night vision sights for gunner and commander, a new night vision device for the driver and a deep water fording kit. M60A2 Starship The M60A2 was intended as a stopgap solution until the projected replacement by the MBT-70. The M60A2, nicknamed the Starship due to its space-age technology, featured an entirely new low-profile turret with a commander's machine gun cupola on top giving the commander a good view and field of fire while under armor but spoiling the low profile. It featured a 152mm, 6.0 in, main gun similar to that of the M551 Sheridan light tank, which fired conventional rounds as well as the MGM-51 Shillelagh anti-tank missile system. 
the fitting of a CBSS, closed breech scavenger system, which used pressurized air to clear the breech after each shot, solved the problem of unburnt propellant from the main gun rounds fouling the barrel and pre-detonating subsequent rounds. The M60A2 proved a disappointment, though technical advancements would pave the way for future tanks, the MBT-70, which relied on much of this technology as it was used in the M60A2, never advanced beyond prototype stage. The Shillelagh-M60A2 system was phased out from active units by 1981, and the turrets scrapped. Most of the M60A2 tanks were rebuilt as M60A3, or the hulls converted to armored vehicle launched bridge, AVLB, vehicles. M60A3 series. In 1978, work began on the M60A3 variant. It featured a number of technological enhancements, including smoke dischargers, a new flash lamp pumped ruby laser based rangefinder, and slash VVG2, that could be used by both commander and gunner, an M21 ballistic computer and a turret stabilization system. Late production M60A3S omitted the commander's cupola. Compared to a conventional pintle mount, the remote-controlled M85 machine gun was relatively ineffective in the anti-aircraft role for which it was designed. Removing the cupola lowered the vehicle's relatively high silhouette. The cupola's hatch also opened toward the rear of the vehicle and was dangerous to close if under small arms fire owing to an open locking mechanism that required the user to apply leverage to unlock it prior to closing. U.S. Army A3 version all retained the cupola until the tank was phased out of service. The M60A3 was phased out of U.S. service as a training aid in 2005, but it has remained a frontline MBT into the 21st century for a number of other countries. In May 2016, Raytheon revealed they had engineered a Service Life Extension Program, SLEP, for the M60A3 as a cost-effective alternative to procuring more modern tanks. Changes include increased engine power from 750 HP to 950 HP, new electric turret controls that are faster, more responsive, and quieter than the previous hydraulic controls adding the larger L44 120mm gun along with digital fire control and targeting systems with thermal sights, and protection enhancements of side skirts, slat armor, and likely reactive armor. The M60A3 SLEP puts the vehicle's performance on PAR with tanks such as the T-72 and M1A1 Abrams, while keeping training and maintenance costs down as crews are already familiar with the basic M60. The vehicle has undergone testing at the U.S. Army's Aberdeen Proving Ground. Changing out the hydraulics with electronic systems decreases weight by one ton and the digital FCS allows for firing on the move. Service History United States The M60-based M60 AVLB, Armored Vehicle Launch Bridge, and the M728 Combat Engineer Vehicle were the only variants of the M60 deployed to South Vietnam. The AVLB commonly referred to as the bridge tank, was mounted on an M60 tank hull, and the M728 combat engineer vehicle was an M60 tank mounting a short-tubed 165mm main gun that fired a HEP round. Late in the M60S U.S. Army service a number of prototype upgrades were evaluated. These were passed over in favor of simply producing more M1 Abrams. Due to the end of the Cold War, Surplus U.S. Army M1S were absorbed into the remaining USMC units, allowing the Marine Corps to become an all-M1 tank force at reduced cost. Except for a small number in active service, most M60S were placed in reserve, with a few being sold to U.S. allies. The M60A3 participated in close air support trials with the F-16 in the 1980s. M60A1S are still used by the U.S. Air Force for testing of ground radar equipment on new aircraft and for ground force adversarial work at Red Flag at Nellis AFB Nevada. USMC M60A1 tanks were used in Grenada and Beirut in 1983. During Operation Desert Storm in 1991 at least one U.S. Air Force unit was equipped with M60S. The 401st TFW, P, deployed to Doha. Qatar had two M60S for use by Explosives Ordnance Disposal Personnel. 
It was planned that using the MBTs would allow the EOD crews to remove unexploded ordnance from tarmac runway and taxiway surfaces with increased safety. In early February 1991, 200 U.S. Marine M60A1S of the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, MEF, drove north from Kafi, Saudi Arabia into Kuwait. In the Battle of Kuwait International Airport they encountered an Iraqi force of T-54-55, Type 69, and T-72 tanks. The Marines won this battle, destroying some 100 Iraqi tanks with only one M60A1 lost, to anti-tank mines. The last 18 M60A3S were maintained at the Combat Maneuver Training Center, CMTC, near Hohenfels, Germany. They were used in the ab 4 surrogate role by Delta Company 1st Battalion, 4th Infantry Regiment until 2005. Israel The Israel Defense Forces, IDF, purchased its first M60A1 tanks from the U.S. in 1971. M60S and M60A1S saw action with Israel during the 1973 Yom Kippur War in both the Sinai and the Golan Heights, although mainly in the Sinai. The United States sent additional M60S to Israel just before and during hostilities. Israel had about 150 M60A1 tanks in service at the start of the war. Many Israeli M60S were destroyed by Egyptian troops with a 3 Sagar anti-tank missiles in the first few days after Egyptian forces crossed the Suez Canal. The tank is highly regarded in Israeli service and been praised for its firepower and maneuverability. Following the war, the IDF received many more M48S, M60S and M60A1S from the US. Israel further upgraded their inventory of M60S through the 1970s and into the 1980s. The Israeli modifications included new tracks and explosive reactive armor, ERA. This variant was known as the Magach. Further work in Israel has been done on the upgraded Magach models, adding new armor, new fire control system a thermal sleeve and smoke dischargers. The latest versions, the Magach 7, with variants A through C, have been used by some IDF units. In the 1982 Lebanon War, Israeli Operation Peace in Galilee, M60 Patton's, locally named Magach 6, encountered Syrian T-54-55 and T-72S as well as PLO T-34S. Some were destroyed by Syrian infantry hunter-killer teams with ATGMs and supplemented by RPG-7S. Several other M60S were damaged by hot missiles fired from Syrian Gazelle helicopters. One Magach 6 was destroyed by AT-72 and another was abandoned by its crew after taking damage. In July 2013, Israel began the Tuza, Boldness, program for turning some military bases into sales lots for obsolete IDF equipment. Older models not suited for Israel's forces are to be sold off, or sold for scrap if there are no buyers. The M60A1-A3 and Magach tanks are among those being offered. Main buyers are expected from Latin American, Asian, and African countries. With the disbanding of the last M60 equipped battalions in 2014, the tank is no longer in service with the Israel Defense Forces. Kuwait The U.S. Marines M60A1 Rise Passive saw action during Operation Desert Storm in the 1991 Persian Gulf War, opposing Iraqi armor which included the T-54, T-55, T-62, Type 69, and T-72 tanks. The M60A1S were fitted with add-on explosive reactive armor, ERA, packages and supported the drive into Kuwait City, where they were involved in a two-day tank battle at the Kuwait airport. The M60S destroyed some 100 Iraqi tanks with one loss. They saw service with the U.S. Marine Corps and the Saudi Arabian Army. Other Users Extensive numbers of M60 tanks served within the Iranian military during the Iran-Iraq War, with varying combat success during the eight years of attrition and campaigning. The U.S. military continues to have significant stockpiles of M60S waiting to be scrapped, sold off, converted, or used as targets in weapons testing, or used for radar objects for jet attack planes. Some vehicles that use the chassis are still in use, however. Most of the M60S still used are much upgraded models. 
patterns formed the basis for many new tank designs, some using the chassis but with all new turrets, others using various upgrade packages. Jordan, for example, is modifying two battalions of M60A3 with the IFCS system. In 2005, M60 variants were in service with Bahrain, Bosnia, Brazil, Egypt, Greece, Israel, Jordan, Portugal, Spain, Tunisia, Turkey, Thailand, Rock, Taiwan, Iran and some other nations to varying degrees. Royal Thai Army M60A3S were engaged in combat to recapture border post 9631 from Myanmar Army forces in 2001, and reportedly exchanged fire with Type 69 tanks. Greece offered to donate 13 M60A3 tanks to Afghanistan in 2007. In October 2017, Taiwan abandoned attempts to acquire surplus M1 Abrams from the US and announced an upgrade program for 450 M60A3S consisting of replacing the main gun with a new 120mm weapon, as well as upgrading the ballistics computer, turret hydraulics and other systems. Testing and evaluation are expected to be completed in 2019 and application of new features to start in 2020. A single M60 purchased by Argentina for test purposes, stands as a monument at the Argentinian Army SNCO's Academy, in Campo de Mayo, near Buenos Aires. Variants XM60-M60, bearing a strong familial resemblance to the M48, the M60 has a wedge-shaped hull, three return rollers, and aluminum road wheels. Features not found on previous M48S featured a turret with 105mm M68 gun. Some early production units for this and for A1 version, did not have the commander's cupola. M60A1, first variant to feature the distinctive needle-nose long-nosed turret, along with better armor protection and improved hydraulics. M60A1 OUS, add-on stabilization, introduced in 1972 for the M68 gun. M60A1 Rise, reliability improvements for selected equipment, featured improvements of almost all the basic systems including an upgraded engine design that allowed easier access to components to allow removing the engine pack in less time and a new track type, T142, that helped reduce wear and improve track life. M60A1 Rise Passive, Rise, but with a smaller infrared slash white light capable searchlight and passive night vision equipment. USMC M60A1 Rise passives were outfitted with explosive reactive armor, ERA, in the late 1980s. M60A1 E1, developmental test vehicles fitted with the 152mm M162 gun missile launchers. M60A1 E2 slash M60A2, turret design finalized, giving the distinctive Starship look. A variant was tested with a remote controlled 20mm cannon as well. M60A1 E3, prototype, M60A1 E2 fitted with 105mm gun. M60A1 E4, experimental type with remote control weapons. M60A3, M60A1 fitted with a laser range finder, M21 solid state ballistic computer, and a crosswind sensor. Late production units omitted the commander's cupola. M60A3 TDS, Tank thermal sight, M60A3S fitted with the IN-VSG2 thermal sight. M60A3 SLEP, more powerful engine, electric turret controls, 120mm gun, digital fire controls side skirts, and slat armor. M60 Super slash AX, UPARMored versions with minor improvements. Main version also featured no optical range finder. M60-2000 slash 120S, M60 slash Abrams hybrid vehicle developed by General Dynamics Land Division. Not adopted by the United States military. Specialized. M60 AVLB, baseline M60 based chassis armored vehicle launched bridge with 60 foot, 18 M, scissors bridge. M60 A1. Upgraded version of the M60 AVLB based on the M60 A1. M60 AVLM, armored vehicle launched Miklik, mine clearing line charge, 
modified AVLB with up to 2 Miklik on M60 chassis. M60 Panther, M60 modified into a remotely controlled mine clearing tank. M728 CEV, baseline M60 based combat engineer vehicle fitted with a folding A frame crane and winch attached to the front of the turret, and an M135 165mm demolition gun. Commonly fitted with the D7 bulldozer blade, or a mine plow for the clearing of land mines. M728A1, upgraded version of the M728 CEV based on the M60A1. Additional equipment M9, bulldozer and earth moving equipment for the M60. International M60T or Sabra, highly upgraded version of the M60A1 which is designed for the MBT modernization program of the Turkish Army. It features a new 120mm smoothbore gun, electric stabilization system, new fire control system, and new armor package. M60T is also known as Sabra MK.2. E60 E60, basically unmodified main production M60. E60A, basically unmodified M60A1. E60A dozer, version with M9 bulldozer kit installed. E60B, basically unmodified M60A3. M60 VLPD 26-70E, Spanish Army Bridge LAE are based on the M60 with Laguan Bridge System. 12 converted from M60A1. M60 CZ 10-25E Alacrin, Spanish Army Combat Engineer Variant. 38 converted from M60A1. Israeli Variants. Many of the Israeli M60s have been upgraded with additional reactive or passive armor, drastically improving their armor protection. These up-armored versions are called Magach 6 slash 7. M60 Phoenix, Jordanian upgrade, being carried out by the King Abdullah II Design and Development Bureau. Upgrade includes shoot-on-move capabilities, increased firepower, with the RUAG 120mm smoothbore gun, an armor protection scheme upgrade. Samsung, sword Iranian upgraded version of M60A1 tank, fitted with reactive armor, presumably Contact 5, EFCS3 fire control system, laser warning system and IR jammers. Operators. Bosnia and Herzegovina, 45 M60A3 TDS. Bahrain, 180 M60A3 TDS. Brazil, 91 M60A3 TDS Egypt, 1016 M60A3-700M60A1 total, 1716 Greece, 357 M60A1 Rise Passive and 312 M60A3 TDS were received 101 A3TTS in service Most in reserve Iran 150 M60A1, 2010. One of the first M60 tanks delivered to Iran was hijacked to the Soviet Union in 1961. Jordan, 182. Lebanon, 66 A3 series, first 10 arrived on May 22, 2009. Morocco, 260 M60A3 TDS, 167 M60A3. Oman, 93. Portugal, 96 M60A3 TDS. Saudi Arabia, 450 M60A1 and M60A3 TDS. Spain, 17 M60A3 TDS, Infanteria de Marina, 38 M60CZ 10-25E, 12 M60 VLPD 26-70E, Spanish Army. Sudan, 20. Taiwan, 450 M60A3 TDS. Thailand, 53 M60A1 Rise Passive 125 M60A3 TDS XU.S Army. Tunisia, 8459 M60A3 TDS and 30 M60A1 Rise Passive. Turkey, 658 M60A3 TDS, 104 M60A1 Rise. 170 M60T. Total, 932. 
United States, retired from service as training vehicles 2005, some in reserve slash storage. Some still in use by U.S. Air Force for testing purposes. M728 Combat Engineer Vehicle and M60 AVLB still in service. Yemen, 240 M60A1 Rise Passive. Former Operators. Argentina, 1 M60A1 for test only. Austria, 170 M60A3S in service from 1964 till 1997. Replaced by Leopard 2 and sold to Egypt. Ethiopia. Israel, 711 Magach 6 Arkuf and Magach 6 Arkuf 2, 111 Magach 7. Older models to be sold off, or scrapped. Retired in 2014. Italy, 300 M60A1 equipping 5 battalions of the 132nd Armored Division Ariat, later split into 3 brigades, until early 1990s. Type Main Battle Tank. Place of origin United States. Service history. In service 1961 present. Used by sea operators. Wars. Yom Kippur War. Iran-Iraq War. 1982 Lebanon War. Invasion of Grenada. Persian Gulf War. Restore Hope, Somalia. Western Sahara War. Houthi Insurgency in Yemen. Turkey PKK conflict. Sinai insurgency. Yemen a civil war, 2015, Saudi Arabian led intervention in Yemen. Syrian civil war. Production history. Manufacturer Detroit Arsenal Tank Plant, Chrysler. Produced 1960 1987. No built over 15,000, all variants. Variants C variants. Specifications Weight M60, 50.7 short tons, 46.0 tons, 45.3 long tons. M60A1, 52 to 54 short tons, 47 to 49 tons, 46 to 48 long tons, depending on turret design. Length M60, 6.946 meters, 22 feet 9.5 in, hull. 9.309 meters, 30 feet 6.5 in, gun forward. Width M60, 3.631 meters, 11 feet 11.0 in. Height M60, 3.213 meters, 10 feet 6.5 in. Crew 4. Armor upper glassy. M60, 3.67 in, 93 millimeters, at 65 degrees. 8.68 in, 220 mm, LOS. M60A1, 4.29 in, 109 mm, at 65 degrees. 10.15 in, 258 mm, LOS. M60A2, same as M60A1. M60A3, same as M60A1. Turret front. M60, equals 7 in, 180 mm. M60A1, equals 10 in, 250 mm. M60A2, equals 11.5 in, 290 mm. M60A3, same as M60A1. Main. Armament. 105 mm, 4.1 in, M68 gun. M60 slash A1 slash A3. 152 mm, 6.0 in, M162 gun slash launcher, M60A2. Secondary. Armament. 0 0.50 BMG, 12.7 times 99 mm, M85. 7.62 times 51 mm NATO M73 machine gun. Engine Continental AVDS 1790-2 V12, air-cooled twin-turbo diesel engine. 750 bhp, 560 kilowatts. Power slash weight 15.08 bhp slash st, 12.4 kW slash ton. Transmission General Motors, cross-drive, 
single stage with two forward and one reverse ranges. Suspension torsion bar suspension. Ground clearance 1 foot 6.2 inches, 0.463 m. Fuel capacity 385 US gallons, 1,457 L. Operational. Range. 300 miles, 500 kilometers. Speed 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour. Road. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.